Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I have a thrift haul for you. Um, I took a trip and got some things. So I figured I would share that with all of you so you can see all the wonderful things that I found. Some brands are new to me and some brands I have found before. So there's two big bags off to the side and uh, we're just gonna dive right in. All right, we'll start with the big bag up here and then work our way to the bottom. I actually don't have a lot of shoes. Um, I have a lot of sweaters and pants and that kind of stuff. Um, two handbags, I think, and maybe one, two, two pairs of shoes. So it was really a big clothing day, which is not usual for me. I usually find a lot of um, accessories and all that kind of stuff, but today we have clothing. So this is a staple in my closet, which is made well. It's a size small and it is just a denim jacket. Um, this guy is from the 2018 collection. So when it comes to Madewell, I definitely like to pick up things that are 2018 or present day, and that will change next year. I'll be looking for 2019 to present day, um, but denim jacket always does really well. So we got that. This will be a third time that I found this brand. This is a blazer. It is, um, so I found this my first year of reselling and I had no idea what it was, but the structure and the quality of the piece looked really great. Um, and that brand, I'm going to show you the tag right here. It's Nina McLemmer, McLemore, I don't know. <laughs> But there it is right there in these blazers in particular. So if you see these blazers, they're worn by politicians for the most part. And two politicians in particular that these are worn by are Hillary Clinton and um, Elizabeth Warren. I could not sell these on my own. Um, they retail for a lot of money, uh, but I could not resell them. So what I ended up doing is sending them to the real rail. They actually priced them at a decent amount. I say one was priced at three forty nine. dollars The other one was priced at like... 175 180 I paid three dollars for them um, and they ended up selling for their full asking price so I think with that guy I'm gonna end up sending it in um, I don't think I'm gonna try to sell it myself even though the pattern is nicer it's a little more modern than the original two that I had found uh, I think I just want to ship that off and not have to deal with it I will give you the total number of items and the cost of goods at the end of the video and that's also what I'll show you probably my best finds in a long time. <laughs> um, oh, this was a nice sweater. Uh, this is a little turtleneck here, and this is a brand called Gentle Fawn. I'll show you the tag. So there it is. I don't know much about the brand. I had heard of it before, and, um, and when I saw the tag, it reminded me of that Gentle Herd uh, sweater. Was it a sweater or was it a cardigan? I think it was a sweater that I found a few trips back that I showed you guys that actually sold pretty quickly and sold full asking price. Um, but I had heard of this one before too, and I knew it was good, but I had to do a quick little Google search just in case, because sometimes I forget what things are. <laughs> so we've got that little cable knit sweater. Oh, these are really fun. I almost didn't get these, but the color is what sold me. I'm not going to show you the brand yet, but like, check out this pink velvet trouser pant. I'm absolutely going to list these um, as soon as I'm done filming. These are just J. Crew. They're a size four, nice elastic waist, perfect for the holiday season. Got some pockets. You can eat all the food that you want and have the room in the pants. Um, I really liked these and I think these are from last year. So I looked at the tag. Oh, 2019. So this is holiday 2019. I'd say they're still great in 2021. All right, that. Um, ooh, this was a new to me brand. I don't know if you, have you guys ever heard of this brand. I hadn't, but the tag is what sold me. And the brand is Jumper. So I thought it was just called Jumper, but it's actually Jumper1234. That's actually the name of the brand. Um, as you can see, it's like one of those nice little tags, little sewn corners right there. Um, the number one, I'm assuming, means a small or an extra small. This is 100% cashmere. 
Uh, it doesn't have any holes or anything. I checked this thing. I can't tell you how many times. Um, but the resale on these are pretty good. They're between like 75 to 135, 145, depending on the piece. So just a nice little cashmere sweater, new brand. I think it's a UK brand. I know that in the UK, they don't say sweaters. They say jumper, um, which is kind of something that triggered. I was like, oh, it says jumper. It must be a European thing. And it is. It is made, it's designed in England. So it is a UK brand. So if you ever see this, jumper one, two, three, four, definitely a pickup. Uh, moving on to a pair of leggings. I wasn't sure what brand these were, just given the little stripe pair, but they felt like they were something. And then check them out. They're aloe. I like, I like finding aloe leggings. I don't always have the best luck with aloe leggings, uh, but these were a really fun style. They're an extra, extra small, which is tiny, but... They're cute. I liked them. Moving on to another new to me brand. Now I don't I have no idea how to say this. Menier de Vaux. I don't know, but here it is. Here's a tag so you guys can check that out. It's a size eight. It's a jogger and it also, it has this uh, stripe. Can you see that stripe along the side? And then the brand is also on the leg. Hmm. And then it's a little jogger. Um, the brand looks good. <laughs> uh, the tag is what kind of caught my eye and that's really all I know about it. So I'm excited to try it out. It's, I think they're fun. They've got this nice little shiny texture to it. They look comfy. I don't know. If you guys know anything about this brand, let me know in the comments. But the retail is like 150 in that range, depending on the pieces. And I saw some that were listed for 75. So I'm gonna go with it. We're gonna we're gonna try something out. Oh, where are you? Here we go. Next is um, ALC. This is a size six. I honestly don't find this brand a lot or APC. I just it, I don't come across it often. I don't know why. I know other people in my area do, but. Um, I'm always really excited when I find it, especially when it's this really pretty dress. It's got these little bell sleeves with the smocking on the sleeve there. It's so pretty. So we're gonna probably list that because that could go for holiday time or it, it could be a nice work dress too. Oh, this was, okay. Anthropology has a ton of like brands, right, in general, but they have a lot of brands that they house in their stores that they collaborate with and stuff. And this was one they had never heard of, but when I Googled it, it looks like this brand does well. It looks like the retail is really high. Um, I just really liked the pattern on it. And this is called Seen, Worn, and Kept. Seen, Worn, Kept. It's a size 12. I really liked the color. The color caught my eye. That was the first thing that caught my eye. And then when I turned it around, the buttons down the back are really pretty too. So I've never sold this. It definitely came from Anthropology because when I looked on the inside, it had the um, typical anthro address on the back. So we'll see. Uh, I don't really know how this is going to be priced, but it's really pretty. Buttons on the back of a of a blouse is like, it's just something that when I see, I get really excited. I just think it adds a different character to the piece. And I like that. Um, here are two very basic pieces that I picked up because I know that I'll sell them, whether it be now or a few months from now. I don't mind having these in my closet. This is just made well, size large. I might actually try this on. <laughs> and see if it fits me. Just an oversized short sleeve button front here with a plaid um, plaid style, I guess. It's 100% cotton. It is from the fall 2018 line. I think I might actually try this on. This might end up in my closet, but I always like to pick up Madewell button-ups or blouses. I always do really well with them. And then this is another one. This is a Madewell, extra small, and it's just a button front poplin style um, blouse. And this, I believe, is current. This was spring 2021. So this is very current. So we got that in there. I always gravitate towards like nautical stripes, nautical colors. It's probably the New England girl in me. I always gravitate towards that stuff. 
Oh, we've got another Madewell piece. This sweater is really pretty. I really liked this. So here you go again, Madewell size medium. Check out this sweater. Let's bring it up a little close so you can see the detail in the sweater. A little, I don't even know what you would call that, stitching? <laughs> stitching, Daniela, that would be stitching. And it's got a little bit of a puff sleeve. It's really pretty. I really like the color. This is very much a Daniela color in case you can't tell with the sweater I have on today. I believe this was also a current season item. It was, it was fall of 2020. So we like finding current made well or semi-current made well. So that will get listed ASAP. Um, when it comes to made well sweaters, kind of all over, the all over the place with pricing. For the most part, I would say I price around like the 45 to $60 range and kind of take it from there. It really depends on the piece when it comes to made well. It's hard for me to say like, a blanket price for anything really, but especially when it comes to brands like J. Crew and Madewell, um, I really think it's a case by case basis and it's just, it depends on your experience with the brand and how the brand sells for you. This next piece, I was so excited to find on the rack. I couldn't believe that it was just sitting there and no one had taken it yet. And it's the new tag, Diane von Furstenberg blouse. It's silk, but check out this color and the pattern and this, sorry, cuffed sleeve, which I need to, I need to fix. I need to fix this so you can get the full effect. There we go. Look at this. How beautiful. Just the color alone is stunning. And the pattern with the floral detail, so, so pretty. Love it. Um, I, it, this, yeah, it's a button front. I, think, I believe it's hundred percent silk. Just, it is. It's hundred percent silk. And I don't know. Usually Diane has a tag inside, which tells you the style name, or maybe she used to looks like the newer one. Doesn't have that, but that's okay. I'm sure if I use Google lens, this will pop up. It is. It's beautiful. I was so excited to find this. And it was only $5.99, which makes it even better. Um, oh, okay. This is my second time finding Zaya leggings. So from what I understand, Zaya is um, kind of like an MLM, <laughs> I guess. But they have reps that sell them, um, which makes it, I guess, the only way that it's similar to MLM. I really know nothing about the brand. I just know that people pop up on like Instagram or on Facebook and it's like, hey, I'm going live, buy these leggings kind of thing. I don't know. I always used to bypass them and like not think twice about it. And then I realized that it, they, these are actually really big in the reseller community and people always pick them up to sell. And I found a purple pair maybe um, two months ago and they sold really fast. So then I was like, mm, way to be judgmental, Daniela. When you find yourself some Zaya, make sure you pick them up. So we did, we picked them up <laughs> and they were only $1.99. So that was good. Okay, here we have another um, basic but wonderful brand that I love to sell, and that is J. Crew. This is a size large, and it's new at tag, so we love that. Um, this looks like it's a wrap style blouse. It's got the wrap component right here. It's just opened, and it's a um, kind of like a tan. It's a neutral base. Very pretty. New a tag, so I definitely want to get that listed soon. Thinking of like holiday time, people buying gifts and stuff, I definitely want to get that up. Um, okay, I'm going to need your help with this one. I don't know if this is a lag and look brand, if this is something that is sought after. I know nothing about it except a quick Google search that made it seem like it was good. And it's called 0039 Italy. It's 100% linen. It definitely gave me flax vibes or like Eileen Fisher, which is why I picked it up. Um, and I put it in my cart before I even looked at anything. This was like an afterthought of to me for me to Google it, but it's just a button front. It's this pretty orange color it would have been great for like October, but it's all right. Um, yeah, I, I know nothing about it except that it's 100% linen and it reminds me of a lag and look brand. So if you guys know anything about that, I'll show you the tag one more time. 0039 Italy, size medium. Let me know in the comments. 
if you've ever seen it, if you found it, have you sold it? Do you know anything about it? Let me know. This is a brand <laughs> that I I'm not uh, that I swore off <laughs> in a recent video that I said I never pick up anymore. Literally eating my words. Um, yeah, so here we have <laughs> Angel of the North. Um, I'm assuming this is a newer tag because I've never seen this tag before. Uh, and this piece feels brand new and it's a nice knitted cardigan. And I think that's what really sold me on it is that it was a knitted cardigan. And I was like, well, I mean, try it. <laughs> and then I was thinking, I was like, when I do this haul, people are going to think I'm crazy. Because if they watch my video where I'm telling you all of my bolo brands, I specifically say that I'm, I don't pick up Angel of North. Yet here we are, friends. So here's my reminder to all of you, never say never, because there are always exceptions to the rule. <laughs> and this would be one of them. So here we have an Angel of the North cardigan. Yeah. And um, just to eat my words one more time, I also said that I typically don't pick up Anthropology, Pilk, Rome, the Letterpress um, pieces, except if, unless it's like... Um, I don't know what I say, overalls or like things like that. Okay, well, here I am picking up a Pilcro Anthropology cable knit sweater because I really loved the color. And I like the style of it. It's a size small, so it's definitely a little oversized. Yep, here we are picking up things that I said I wouldn't pick up. It's kind of like the name of the game, though, right? There's another thing in here, too, that I say that I don't pick up anymore or I limit... When I, like, I limit the amount that I pick up. Pick some up today and paid up for them. Here we are. <laughs> that would be Stuart Weitzman. But okay, hear me out. They're super cute. They're a current label. Okay. They're hardly worn. So we like that. They're an eight and a half. Good size. They're in good condition for the suede. It needs a little bit of a, like a cleaning. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. So it's got one little mark right there. And I think that's the only one. Yeah, that's the only mark. And honestly, that will come up really easily. With a little suede brush. I don't even think I'll need cleaner. Um, just a little suede eraser and then the brush and I should be good to go. And these I'm going to sell myself. I'm not going to send these in. This is definitely a pair of shoes that I could sell myself. Um, I don't anticipate to get a ton of money, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to guess somewhere between the 80 to $100 range, maybe higher. Who knows? I don't know how current these are. I just know that they're a more current label. So um, I was happy to pick these up. I haven't picked up a pair of Stuart Weitzman's that I really, really love in a long, long time. And these I really love. And if they were my size, I probably would keep them and put them in my closet to wear to work. Is that a stain? No. So, yeah. Never say never. That should be like a tagline. Never say never. These next two pieces are a favorite brand of mine. And I don't think I've ever shown you guys this brand in a haul. Or maybe I have once, but it's Brahmin. And I know Brahmin has a rep of being like having an older clientele and stuff. But your girl loves Brahmin. And I've never owned a Brahmin piece myself. However, if the right piece came along, I would definitely keep it. This one I thought was really cute. It's different. When I think of Brahmin, I think of this. I think of the embossed croc alligator, whatever, leather handbag. That's what I think of. When I think of Brahmin, I don't think this. I don't think of a half leather, half cloth knit type thing. I thought this was really neat. So you've got a wallet in here. You can put your ID in here. So it's definitely something that's great, great for traveling. And you've got another compartment right here. So um, just by looking at this, I'm going to guess that someone used this for probably a trip and then never used it again because it is in perfect condition. Um, here is the little logo for Brahmin. See that right there. Uh, it does have a small little stain. I don't know if the camera is going to pick that up, but a small stain right there, which I think I can just take a little Dawn dish soap and kind of get that out. But I thought this was really pretty. It's a double strap, shoulder, or honestly crossbody. It would fit as a crossbody too. So this is a really great travel bag. I was happy to find this. this is something very unique. This is different when it comes to Brahmin, so I was happy to find this one. And then this, anytime I see anything in this pattern, 
I automatically go go to it to see if it's Brahmin. And usually my spidey senses are right, and it is. It's Brahmin. So again, it's got the same little um, token here. This is an older style. Oh, there's money in here. Don't get excited. It's not a lot. It's just just a dime. Um, I gotta clean the inside a little bit. She's a little rough, but honestly, in really great shape. Um, but it is older Brahmin because newer Brahmin has the Brahmin logo right here. This has the Brahmin logo on the inside. I haven't seen this Brahmin tag in a, in years, so um, I'm gonna guess this is a much older style than what I would usually grab. Um, it's got some little piping issues here too, but I can fix this. I gotta just get the piping back in. Um, so she's in she's in rough shape. She's in a little rough shape on the side, but she was only three ninety nine. So I mean, even if I only sell it for thirty thirty five, I think I could sell it for more than that. But even if I sold it at a lower price point, uh, it's a really great bag. Let me show you. Actually, I have a newer Brahmin bag. Let me show you what the new Brahmin logo looks like. One second. So it happened to be in the thrift store. I don't know. Almost a month ago, maybe at this point. And I came across two Brahmin bags that were brand new. They don't have the tags, but they're brandy new. And you'll see that Brahmin, the logo is right here in the front and the font's a little bit different. Um, and the insides are different. Usually the Brahmin bags, let me see if I can show you in this one. It's kind of hard to see. This is even older. So this one doesn't even have it. I've had other Brahmin bags where Brahmin is written all on the inside of the suede interior. This one doesn't even have that. That's how old this is. Um, might be vintage, who knows. But the newer, one, newer ones, that's the logo, that's the interior. It still says Brahmin, I think, on the interior. Yes, it does. It still says Brahmin on the interior, but the patch is on the outside. Anyways, there's your Brahmin lesson for the day. Moving on to probably the most exciting stuff that I found. Um, I'm going to start with, I thought was exciting, but at first I was like, oh, I'm going to send this to the real real. And then I realized probably should try to sell this myself first, given the style of dress and we're heading into holiday time and New Year's Eve. And look how pretty that is. Look at that detail. So pretty. This is Alberto Macali. And I always talk about how I send this to um, the real real, which is what I generally do, but this girl is so pretty. Look at that swirling detail and all the, the sweet sequence everywhere. Um, it's got a little racer back, so it's definitely fun. It's flirty, it's young. We're gonna try to sell her ourselves. We're gonna see how it does to sell Alberto Macali ourselves. I've never done it, I've always sent it in. So I'm happy to do the experiment. Happy to see what this goes for. This is definitely in my pile of need to list now and see how it does. Uh, do I want to show you this one? Yes. Okay. I was not going to get this because it was priced at $40. But I decided that I've done well with, let's show you the brand, Diane von Furstenberg Leather in the past and it was with a dress and I sold it for over $200. It was new with tag though. This is not new with tag, but boy, let me tell you, it feels brand new. It has no creases. I, I don't think it's ever been worn. I can, I couldn't even, like when I unzipped it, there's a button right here. This button was very difficult to come off. Um, so I, I don't think this was worn very often. It's a really pretty leather jacket. It's form fitted. I just think it's really nice and I'm excited to list this and test the waters. I think I really can't go wrong even though I paid up for it. I'll average my cost of goods like I normally do, but even though I paid up for this piece, um, I think it'll be worth the investment. And I'm, I'm just excited to try it. I don't know what Diane von Furstenberg leather jackets go for. I'm going to assume it's probably a hefty price considering the leather dress that I sold retailed for $5.78. I could only imagine what a leather jacket would retail at. So, I mean, I obviously would not list it at that price point, but um, I, I do know that I could probably get 200, maybe. Maybe I'm being optimistic, I don't know. But I'm excited, I'm excited to try it. I'm excited to 
see what happens. These fun little experiments. Listen, if the price is right and I can financially sustain the investment that I'm going to make and I know the return is there, I'm happy to do these little experiments and to test things out. And then it gives me a better idea of what I can bring in, what I can't bring in, what I can price things at, what things are going to sell at, you know, all that kind of stuff, which of course comes with experience. So if you're not at this point and reselling, it's fine. You will eventually get here or you won't and you'll stay doing what you're doing because that's what works for you. Um, I'm very fortunate to live so close to many cities and towns and um, have access to a lot of these brands. So um, I, I do know that I'm fortunate in that manner. Uh, yeah, I'm rambling. Let's just move on here. Here we have an Emporium, Emporio, sorry, Armani dress. Again, I think I might list her myself. This is definitely from the same person that had the Alberto Macali dress. It was a bunch of stuff, um, designer or luxury, but some of them was kind of older and not really my style in terms of selling. But I think this, this is really cute and I might try to sell it myself. Um, otherwise, it'll go the real real. I might give it like a month or so and then send it in. But it's silk on top and then a wool skirt on the bottom. Um, here is another exciting, move these over here, another really exciting find for me. Sorry, I got really distracted because I just took out like the most exciting piece for myself. Um, these are, I'll show you the tag in the back. These are Versace jeans couture. Um, I have never found Versace jeans before. So this is a first. Oh no, I lied. I found Versace jeans once, but they were in rough shape and they wanted, I think like $15.99 and they just, they didn't, they were not in good shape. Like there was, I wasn't going to make any money on them. So the reason why I got these was a, I mean, it's Versace. It's got the cool logo on the back. B, it's got a button fly. So now we all know button flies are things that people like. They're hundred percent cotton. These are men's. They're 3246. Okay. So they're men's, but I'm going to list them as, um, unisex because honestly you don't, it doesn't have to be men's. I mean, I'll measure them. This looks like a woman's, I don't know. I'm going to say like a eight, maybe six or eight kind of range. They're a straight leg. They're in, they're in really good shape. I don't think this is intentional. It might be intentional distressing. I don't know. Oh yeah, this one has it in the same spot. So it is intentional distressing. Um, might list it as, I, I don't know. I might list it in both categories and then see where it sells. Might list it in the men's category and then list it in the women's category and see what happens. See which one gets more attention, whether the men's or the women's. I don't know. Or I'll just list it as unisex one or the other, but I'm really excited to try these out. I, I was happy to find these. It was new to me, not new to me in terms I didn't know the brand. It was just a first find for me. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, we found ourselves some chunky neon camper shoes. We love a camper shoe. I love a camper shoe. If you've never sold camper before, not every style will do well, but something like this, and they're brand new. I mean, I'm gonna assume that these are current style. They're size 40. Do I dare try them on? We're gonna try them on right now. Let's try them on. Let's, let's see how they fit. Oh my God, they fit. These bring me back. Wow, they bring me back. Make me feel like I'm in middle school again with this chunk right here. Kind of love them, not gonna lie. Um, so camper, I have sold four camper shoes before and each pair that I sold was not on Poshmark, it was on eBay and they were all to international sellers. So take that however you want. These are definitely going on eBay. They'll go on Poshmark too, but um, I'll be curious to see if these sell on Poshmark or on eBay. I'm going to guess probably eBay. So I'm excited about these. Let's just hope I don't wear them before they sell. I won't because they're brand new and I don't want to wear them. I want to sell them as brand new. Um, oh, this was a 
different find for me. I don't typically pick up mugs, um, but this is a Kate Spade. It's new in the box. I don't know if I'm going to list it. I might give it as a gift, but it says glitter is my favorite color. And I have the perfect person I can give this to. So there it is, Kate Spade, Lennox. Um, does it say what it retailed for? Nope. It doesn't say, so I don't know what it retailed for, but it was new in the box, so I figured I would grab it for $7.99. No idea if this is like something that resells for a lot. I don't know. I, I just might give it as a Christmas gift. <laughs> so there, here's my Kate Spade mug, my one random thing that I grabbed. Um, oh, this was another fun one. This caught my eye because of the tag. It's called Marcus Lupfer. Lupfer. There it is, Marcus. Uh, the Y on it is what got my attention with the sequence. Then I looked at the tag and I was like, oh, this is either a really cool brand or like it's nothing and I'm just hyping myself up for no reason. Um, the interior tag just is nothing special, um, but I looked it up and this brand, do yourself a favor and look up this brand. Hey, this thing, this brand retails for a lot of money. Um, these sweaters, I saw kind of all over the place. Again, a lot of these brands things will be priced all over the all over. So I'm gonna I'm gonna probably say the range is anywhere between 75 to 200. It just depends on the emblem or whatever that's on it. Um, but this was a new brand to me and excited to try that out. Uh, this piece was really pretty. The tag caught my eye. In case you can't tell. Um, a lot of times tags are what does it for me. That's what catches my eye is a tag. So here is this tag right here in Jada Benin Gaza. So that is that. We've got a little V-neck shimmery metallic knit sweater. It's got silver here on the cuff and it's just, ooh, look at that blue. It looks so nice on camera. Pretty blue with then a gold V-neck. Really pretty. It is um, made in Italy, in case the name didn't do it for you. And it's just viscose and polyester, but um, it caught my attention. Definitely a great holiday piece. Can't wait to list her. Don't ask me what it sells for, because I don't know. I got it based off of style and brand, the name. That's, that's really all I did. Um, next up is... Okay, this is missing the, the hood, but I think I think it's okay. Um, the price was right on it, and this is, I don't know how to say this, Skia, Skia? I, I, I don't know, I've never found this before. Um, I literally Googled it just because of the way that the, the logo looked and the, the feel of the jacket. It's a very lightweight, um, soft puffer. And it is a full zip here. And oh, this is the other indicator for me that I was like, oh, maybe I should look it up. Um, see how the pull zip or the pull right here for the zipper? It has the brand. And that was kind of like an indicator to me that, well, I probably should take a gander. And uh, yeah, you this, this right here retails for quite a bit. Um, I don't know how much I can get for it without the hood. I don't think it will be a game changer for someone. I think a lot of people like to wear these style, this style of puffer without hoods on it, and they just kind of wear their own hat. So I, I don't know. I, I'm going to guess I'm going to list it between 150 175 and go from there. Take an offer. What can I say? Um, oh, <laughs> Christmas decorations. I just want to add this to my Christmas decor. They're just green trees. There's, there's nothing special about them. Just two green trees. They're going to go on my mantle probably and wow do they shed. Okay. What else do we have here? Oh, these are going to the rail rail. These are $3.99 and just uh, a crease. Acris. A crease? What am I? Acris. Uh, trouser pants. Wide leg. This is going to go right to the real real for that price point. I'm not selling those myself. That is just the truth. Okay. We're going to grab. There's only like five more pieces left, guys. We're almost done. Almost done. No, these hauls are so long. I feel guilty when they're this long. Okay, we're going to do you at the end. 
and we're going to talk about you three right now. Okay, this is for me. This is the one thing I bought for me. Um, and it's just Maeve. It's nothing, nothing special, but it's Maeve, size extra large. And it's just this really pretty blouse. It's like Christmas, but not Christmas because it's velvet or velour, I should say. It's definitely, it's velour. It's got a pretty floral pattern. Wear it under a nice blazer. can wear it for work. So this is mine. Uh, this was a new to me brand. This is called Understa oh, Understated, sorry, Understated Leather. Uh, it looks like this is sold on Revolve. This is just a mini suede skirt, like super mini, like Y2K Christina Aguilera mini um, with the zipper in the back and the buckles in the front. So we'll see how this does. I just know it's sold on Revolve. Maybe it'll do well, maybe not. Okay, here's a brand that I don't think I've ever shown on my channel because I don't ever pick it up. I, the last time I picked this up was when I first started reselling. And that is J Brand. And the only reason why I got these was based off of style. So these are the Selena Galactic Black. Um, they're a crop. They are a more of a mid-rise. Um, and they've got a little bit of like a kick flare. And they look like they're faux leather, but they're not. They're not, they're not a, I guess you can consider them faux leather, but it's, it's, it's not what it is. But that's the sheen that it has to it. And I don't know, I just thought that they were something that people would be looking for right now. There's so many brands that make pants like this. And these retailed for, I want to say it was like 250 or 275 something like that. And the um, listings on it were pretty good. I mean, some of them were listed as high as like 170 which... I wouldn't list mine at that, but I would definitely list these in like the $80 to $100 range and take an offer. So we got those. So Selena Galactic Black, that's the name of those. Okay, save the last two pieces, my two, I guess, favorite or two things that I've never, well, no, one I've never found, one I found, but this is new in the box. So very excited. Okay, first up is opening ceremony. This is just a vest. It's a little, it's a little vest here. Um, nothing special, but special to me because I've never found opening ceremony um, in either shoes or clothing. So to find it in clothing was very nice. To find it in a style that you'll see, like these types of vests You'll see all over the runway and stuff. People are styling them in really interesting ways. They're wearing different bralettes underneath, um, corsets. Uh, they'll wear this over like a, a turtleneck type sweater. So like there's all different ways to style these. And I just think there's something that a lot of people are looking for, um, for their wardrobe. So I was excited to find that opening ceremony. Very exciting. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I'm getting you, whether I like you or not, because I've never found you before. <laughs> Okay, these were purchased on the real real. Uh, I didn't buy, buy them on the real real. This individual bought them on the real real. That's a real real sticker, and uh, they are Giuseppe Zanotti. Here we are, friends. Look at that heel. Look, can if you wear these heels and you can walk in them, I give you credit because I break my face. I can't walk in this. Look at this thing. Wait, six inches. This is nuts. <laughs> They're a size 36 and a half. The leather is beautiful. They look like Louboutins. They absolutely look like a Louboutin, but they're not. They're Zanotti's. Um, again, new in the box. Has the tissue paper. It's got, uh, well, I shouldn't say they're new in the box. They're slightly worn. It looks like someone wore them for one event and then we're like, uh, I can't do this. That's what I envision with this. It literally looks like maybe worn for a wedding or a work event. Because look, look at that. There's like minimal wear. And the sticker barely even got touched. So I think the person was just like, you know what? It's not for me. It was great for that one night, but that's it. Um, here's the bag. And then there's this. What are you? Gentile cliente. Grazie per la vera. Oh, so this is like their little thank you note. Oh, the English is on the back. Sorry, it's reading the Italian. Um, yeah, it's just a little thank you note for purchasing their product. So this was my 
exciting thing to find. I don't know what these retail for. I don't know what they will sell for. All I know is that they are they have a box, they have a duster, they've got everything I would want. Does it say back here? They removed the sticker. Don't do this. You make it hard for us resellers. I'm sure I'll find them. I'm sure if I Google it, it will come up, but I've never found Giuseppe Zanotti in the box. So this is really exciting. Um, yeah, so that's my my haul. Sorry if my enthusiasm's not the same. This is really long. Sorry. Um, but let me tell you what the cost was for all these items and um, what my average cost of goods was and how many items I have and all that fun stuff. All right, so we spent $435. I rounded up. It was like Four thirty-four seventy-eight or something. So, four hundred and thirty-five dollars. I purchased thirty-eight items. So my average cost of goods is twelve dollars. So not bad at all for some of these brands that I found. Really excited to see um, how these do for me and what sells quickly and what doesn't and what you'll see in a what sold video next month and all that fun stuff. I know I owe you what sold for. Uh, November because we are in December right now and I still haven't done it um, I will do it I just haven't been in the right mind space to do it so once I get myself in that right mind space I will do what sold and something else who knows what um, if I don't post a lot in December don't be mad at me <laughs> I'm probably gonna take some time off of um, a lot of things and uh, just kind of pop in when I'm feeling inspired or want to share or something like that uh, but I will keep you guys posted on social media if things change so if I don't talk to you guys anytime soon I hope you have a great holiday season I hope you have lots of fun doing all the things that are festive with friends and loved ones and family and all of that fun stuff. Christmas trees in a frame. Didn't even realize that. <laughs> all right. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.